Hello everyone, my name is Ilian and I'm going to show you the basics of Test Studio's test recorder. Enjoy! After you have created your first Test Studio test, you would like to record your first steps. I will show you how to do that. Once I have a test open, I hit the record button in the top left corner. In the dialog that opens, you specify the URL of your application and the browser you would like to use for the recording session. We have also a list with the recently used URLs and an option to calibrate the selected browser showing only if it's not already calibrated. Once the browser and the application launch, Test Studio's recorder bar loads on top. You can move it around and switch between vertical and horizontal mode. The other options are to turn on or off the highlighting, to pause the recording, to open the advanced recording tools, and to go to the online documentation. When Test Studio is in recording mode, all the actions are being recorded as steps in your open test. Mouse clicks, keyboard typing, drag and drop, and any other action that the user does. In order to have a fully functional and efficient test, I would like to add verifications as well. They are needed for two main reasons. To compare the actual behavior of the application under test with the expected one, and to make sure that the application is under the right and expected conditions so the automated test can go on without script errors. I will turn the highlighting on and all visual objects or as we call them elements are being displayed. From the menu that appears I can add the most commonly used test steps, verifications, weights, clicks and many more. From the build step option I open the advanced recording tools where I can find a lot more verifications and actions that I can add to my test. From validations of element existence to verification of its style and even some powerful OCR features that let you extract text from your images and compare whole images as well. From the DOM Explorer Tab, obviously you can explore the visual tree of the application and use it as another way to choose elements to work with. The common steps tab provides the user with the ability to add execution delays to clear browse cache, capture screenshots and many more options that you can explore on your own. The browser control is used to simulate browser sections like back forward, refresh, navigating to a new URL. Now I have recorded a few steps and they have been added to my test. I can run them, edit them or add new ones. That was a basic guide how to use Test Studio's test recorder. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and bye.